The following UW 360 story is made possible by the generous support of BECU. BECU, more than just money. Navigating your way around campus may be easier than learning the university's compost, trash, and recycling rules. But it gets hard because there's like a lot of symbols on like one trash can, so yeah, I'm sort of like very between like trying to be do the right thing and like actually just going like, okay, I'm going to toss it in this bin and continue on. Don't forget, we're still, um, we're still saving the... One of the pioneers of the University of Washington's field of garbology studies understands the frustration. I think our present system of composting and recycling puts a lot of the burden on the user to make decisions and um, they're deciding from an incredible array of products at their disposal. UW archaeologist Jack Johnson says this interactive discard station in the Odegaard undergrad library called Money in the Trash is aimed at turning that puzzling moment at the bins from frustration to fun. And probably the most fun thing is you get a little feedback. If I approach with my um, recycling, when I put it in the bin, then immediately a trigger comes up to show how much the item weighs. It also calculates that the university would save $63.80 a day if everyone on campus made the same correct choice. That's more than $23,000 a year. The UW pays for its waste by weight. So the more weight that we throw away in waste, the more it's costing the university and therefore all of the students. When the interactive display was tested in Packar Hall recently, the team found it helped. 8% more waste was being recycled and composted or diverted. Visual communication and design professor Karen Chang spearheaded the money in the trash display, which was created with the help of students. Some of those students are now part of a startup trying to make this money saver a money maker. Ideally in the next couple months we'll be able to build some prototype where you can take a coffee cup and you can put it up to the camera and it'll tell you, oh hey this is a coffee cup and it goes in recycling. Recyclables and compost are less expensive to dispose of than garbage destined for a landfill. So if you're able to divert the streams from landfill into compost and recycling where it's cheaper for the business, that's going to save them a lot of money. So some people just don't. As a grad student, Johnson spent years sorting and studying campus waste bins and says the best thing you can do to help save money is to learn what is compostable. And the garbologists say campus composting is easier than you think. Well, you'd have more of a chance of being able to throw everything in compost and get it right than to throw it in landfill because the UW's made such a significant investment in compostable packaging. Part of our challenge as designers was to make garbage as beautiful as possible and get people just to pause and even if they take away one new piece of information from the display, that would be considered successful for us. You feel like your individual decision is trivial but cumulatively they can have a really large effect. Mm -hmm.